Greetings everyone, this is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. And before I go on to do my next video talk show, I am stopping by from my immediate area off Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, the one and only, the famous Bendix Diner, as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld Netflix series, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. That's right. It is in my close area, and, and it, I love it here. Outstanding food, outstanding coffee, and I will go in soon before I go on to do my next show. Okay. James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions here. And uh, aside from the famous Bendix Diner in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, Route 17 South, right behind the famous Teterboro Airport where everyone with private jets lands who wish to visit New York City. I, we are right next door, directly next door to the famous Bananas Comedy Club in the Holiday Inn on Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey. And there it is. The famous Bananas Comedy Club with a very highly rated Gabriel's Restaurant. How could you not forget? Well, at least at least it's somewhat bearable today. The air conditioning. Of course, I, being that I got eight hundred, no, eight over eight thousand views on my on my Google reviews, eight thousand uh, viewers. I I extended the review on this place. Oh yeah, Miss Three Fifteen. I'm here every day. Look, looks me straight in the eye and says I'm here every day. You know, sometimes I wonder if it's if the if these people are pathological liars or deliberate liars. And then you have delusional people that are also pathological liars. You know what I bet happens to her things? Because she's a hoarder, everything gets lost. Yeah, yeah, that's right. 8,000 views on my Google reviews. I got 8,000 people. So when I went there, I made the, the McDonald's review this long. I went on and 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 on. No, really, I got I got an email. Over eight thousand people watch, see all my reviews. <laughs> and Mike, why? Because they're damn good. That's why. What's good about your review? My, my, oh, he, he don't go on the internet. Micro Center in Patterson. What's so good about his review? No, Micro Center, the computer place. They contacted me immediately after I put the review. And on Route 20 North in Patterson is a big computer store, Micro Center. Okay. They sold my friend. Uh, um, a, a computer that was seven years old in the warehouse and and they sold it as brand new a desktop and was seven year old model i hammered them and they contacted me so i'm not you know what am i going to say to them you suck i mean you know <laughs> yeah yeah you're selling a seven year old well i haven't gotten back to them but i i will because it's like I'll be re repeating myself. But they called you, so I would well, No, they, they sent me an email that they want me to get back to them, but w I mean, the, aside from the fact that they passed off a seven year old desktop as a brand new one. So why would you get back to them? You know what? It wouldn't hurt to get back to them. Why, would, I also, why wouldn't you? Because I uh, like to take my sweet ass time, but I will get back to them. No, you won't. I'll get no, back to them. No. I guarantee tonight I will send them, I will reply. But still, put it in your advertisement. That's all you have to do. No. 
It's like it's like the the CEO of, of the guy who makes the Ninja processor. If he's selling this year's model, okay, that's what people get. When it comes to computers, all it takes is like one year and it becomes obsolete. Well, that's not true. They say that what you're buying is already obsolete. Wow. It doesn't even take a year. You're already buying what is already obsolete. Yeah. That's how, that's how fast technology is advancing. And if it wasn't for the Anunnaki and all the other, we wouldn't have the technology we have today. It, you know what? I wonder if she fell off the face of the earth because it's a, li it's a little odd that uh, little Miss Hoarder hasn't even been here. Or maybe she... Um, she walked into one of her walls and it was a portal to another dimension. Maybe she is from another dimension and she accidentally she accidentally came into this one. <laughs> and then if you confront her, she'll, she reminds no, no, you know what she reminds me of? Remember the old song, Charlie Brown, he's a clown, how come everybody's picking on me? Uh, every time she says you're not listening, you're not listening. I'm going to get even, just you wait and see. It's like I'm tired of all this, uh... Yeah. So how can he be a steady? How could he be a steady boyfriend? That's her mind. That's her mentality. I'm, now I'm going to ask her uh, a question. As soon as I see her, I'm going to say, "Did you get that Saint Benedict's medallion blessed with holy water by the priest?" If she didn't do it, I'm going to say, "You're the last person." The last female I'm going to give a gift to because most of them, they just grab it and they don't appreciate it. St. Benedict's? No, the one I gave her is, it's not St. Benedict's medallion in general, it's the, it's the one I gave her. It, it's used by Catholic priests to, in exorcisms. Medallion. Say, uh, um, well, I know it's used in exorcisms. Did she get it blessed by, by the priest? Ah, ha, ha. Her whole life is a lie. Wait, wait till we see her. I wonder if if her mechanical story was completely accurate. Her oh, about her car, about her car. I, at this stage, you don't know what to believe anymore when it comes to her. Oh yeah, get get your tickets now. Pay. I forgot to watch uh, Chris Cuomo interviewing Rudy Giuliani. Well, to me, he's entertainment. He's not even, I don't even take him seriously anymore. I just, I to laugh, you know. Is he losing his neck? He's getting like Ed Sullivan. You ever notice that? Brian Slate? No, he looks like a troll. Remember when Danny DeVito played the Penguin on Batman? He had, he had no neck. Yeah. Truth is not truth. Interesting comment. <laughs> he might as well hang out with Eileen. Maybe 
Well, let's put it this way. Giuliani says what he says because he's being well paid, uh, which makes him sound like a stooge. Sound like a stooge, right? You know who sounds? You know who's super intelligent? Michael Avenatti, Stormy Daniels. Not on not on social media. He's not quiet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, he doesn't back down from interviews. He shows up. Ah, maybe because. Maybe because he's telling a wee bit too much. Well, maybe he's not. Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. Yeah. Well, he's, well, he's, he's getting, he's going to run for office in 2020. Well, I, a lot of people are going to run for office, but what does that mean? Yeah. But he has some pretty hardcore things to say, though, about um, Michael Cohen, about Donald Trump, about, you know. Cohen, bullet, bullet, man. I'll take a bullet for him. Now, now Trump is tearing apart uh, uh, Jeff Sessions. Yeah. Well, Sessions is by no means an angel, but I'm just saying, his as far as Trump goes, when he hires somebody or his loyalty, th forget about it. What about what about the anonymous person that approached New York Times? Did you read that? Did you read that, or did you? Yeah. Someone. Yeah, yeah. If if your president is not of sound mind. Yeah. Yes, yeah, supposedly somebody really high up in his administration that went to, to the New York Times. I don't think the Republicans are happy with him at all. Well, if they really cared about the Constitution and the country, they would do the right thing. No, they don't. All they care about is re-election. You find the only ones speaking out are the ones not seeking re-election. And how many are getting out saying, we've had enough, we'll do more. So, they've got enough. I mean, if Trump doesn't fire you, they resign. They, 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 there have been people that have resigned. And how many people have turned down offers? They don't want to Oh, my God. Can you imagine having him as your, having to answer to him? Oh. And then if he, if he, if something rubs him the wrong way, he goes on Twitter and back. It's an absolute chaotic environment in that White House. Because he's just a natural born douchebag. I mean, if, if you if you looked up asshole and douchebag in the dictionary, his photo will probably be there. Well, what, what we what we were talking about before you went outside, I'm convinced that there are people today that might be sociopathic and don't even realize it. Like if you do some, if a person says something or does something and doesn't feel remorse for what they do. How do you measure mental illness? Like you're a nervous wreck right now with your knees. Well, because I'm, I got out of the house. You know, you know, it's it's it it's not the most positive environment when I'm home, and I'm happy when I get out. Yeah, but you should be. You know, that's nervous. I drink a lot of coffee. Maybe that's why I have insomnia. A friend of mine told me cut down on the caffeine. Well, beside you, another another person said that. <laughs> and then there are articles now that say saying coffee actually has antioxidant qualities to it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I mean, I it doesn't put me off the deep end, but it.
then I got to cut down. Maybe I should drink hot. Maybe I should drink hot cocoa. And have some. I could have some coffee, but not as much. You know. At least I'm open-minded enough to like acknowledge it. You know. But like I told you last week, I said, you know what? You can have differences with a person, but if somebody, as long as somebody's totally honest and tells you the truth, and, and when they look at you, they tell you the truth, that says a lot. Then it went to 50 grand, then 40 grand. <laughs> And then he has power of attorney. Oh, he doesn't have power of attorney, or I don't. Unless you sign. You can't have it unless you sign. It's got to be legally done. Yes. The person, the girl we know down here, the bell, right? The amulet. That's her brother. Make up a 40 grand a year. Yes. Yeah, and she pumped it up to 80, right? Yeah. Well, of course, of course, if her purse is a, a, um, is proof of hoarding, of course her apartment is, and and she had to borrow a pencil from from them. Meanwhile, she had a pen buried in her purse. You know who used to be like that? Bob, the accountant. No, he didn't used to be. Well, I don't know if he's alive. <laughs> no, he never got over it. You should have seen how horrible his house was. Really? You know how you get junk mail and normal people just tear it up and... He kept everything. He kept it. I said, Bob, why? Why? Nothing. He didn't, he didn't tell him because he was, he's probably he's off his, out of his mind. Masidi. What? Masidi. Yeah, M A S C I T T I. Robert Masidi. Ask, ask if he was a good accountant. What was Jimmy's friend, Bob Machidi, a good accountant? That's why he got fired so many times. Yeah, he, he could never hold a job anywhere. Yeah, maybe he stunk. How did he get through college? Through the front door and out the back, like my grandfather used to say. How did he get a Maybe by the skin of his nose. Uh, you know, some people can just. Some pe hey, if you pass the SATs, right? You just have to pass it, right? <laughs> well, his his oh god, his his date was whatever go-go dancer he was talking to at the time. No, no, he he saw them while they were working. I know, but you know. Oh, you think that's sick? She used to be, he used to bring different color pantyhose and ask her if he could put it on her feet because he had a foot fetish. He had an obsessive foot fetish. And he was also so cheap he used to shut the night lights off on his eighty five year old mother. 
two, what is it, five watts? What is it, two watts, five watts? Now, now they're LEDs. Now they use like hardly any watts. I'm telling you, man, there are wackos out there. Even your father was way ahead of his time. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? I, I, there are people who honestly just want to text, and they don't want to. They don't want to meet you in person. They just want to text their life away. Well, look at the example we have at the top. Uh. Usually, usually, the best example, like Jacqueline says, the best way to the best way to teach your children is by example. And usually, the person yeah, something better out there. Don't you think I have it? Remember that? Oh, and the very the most important person in the world is you. And you have untapped potential, William Morrow. No, actually, my nose wouldn't grow when I say. Untapped potential. Tony Robbins, right? Untapped potential. Well, if you pay him a fee, you have untapped potential. And if you buy my series part two for another $195. Excuse me, for, uh, for um, $99.95, you can get my DVD collection and it will totally change your life. Motivational speaking? Yeah, I had a bunch of them down there. How many of them? And he will find the green room where they all were hanging out waiting for the filming to begin. <laughs> and he overheard them laughing about everybody's a jerk. They buy this. How they all buy this. What did P.T. Barnum say? Does the sucker born every minute. every minute? Well, you know, isn't a TV evangelist the same as them? They. <laughs> Remember when Steve Martin had that? <laughs> Remember when Steve Martin did that satire movie and he says, Yakety yak, gods are talking back. <laughs> but he was, a, he, was a, such, he was a real talented guy, though. Played, played the banjo pretty good. No, he's on tour. You know, but uh, you know, there's a TV evangelist named Peter Popoff. That's, his, that's the name he uses. He's got this black shoe polish dyed hair, like like the old Superman. I mean, cart uh, comic book. He sells this miracle spring water, where he has an infomercial where the woman is in, on crutches in the front row. He touches her, she faints and passes out on the floor. Then she gets up and throws the crutches across the the the, the, the uh, down the aisle and starts dancing. I'm cured. Hallelujah. It's a miracle. God, God has cured me. And she's dancing. And he's selling the miracle spring water online. It's probably from his toilet bowl. We can take we can take water from our bathroom sink and sell it. How do you what I told you about Liz Greenberg, my buddy? His friend made those crosses with that little Oh, from the, the Lord's France? <laughs> oh, this is funny. Les asked his neighbor, is that dirt really from the Holy Land? And his friend said, in my backyard is the Holy Land. Yes, it is. In my backyard is the Holy Land. Oh, this is... He was honest about it, but he said, yes, it is. But you know what's funnier? The suckers that believe it. It's dirt. Religion But it's dirt. How do you prove where it's from? I mean, the dirt in Jerusalem is sandy, right? Well, the dirt, the dirt in San Diego was sandy too. Baja, California was sandy. Uh, Arizona. Just read an ad and, oh my God, look, it's got dirt from the Holy Land. We have to order one of these. You know, 
Las Vegas, the Mojave Desert, sandy soil. So all you have to do is take like a, um, a half a teaspoon of that, that fake Holy Land dirt, encapsulate it inside of a, cru a crucifix, a cross. You know, you know what? What uh, my mother felt. My mother fell for that. She, um, she. Yeah, well, yeah, but they t turn out to be proven fake. Well, Jimmy, we knew that. What well, do you mean? the sweeps, the sweepstakes. How could she win the lottery? She never entered. You know what? That's common sense. Yes. No, but she sent away for this cross that had the um, water from Lords. In Lord's France, pe yeah. people saw the Virgin Mary. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, okay, yeah. And and the water was, there's a spring. Yeah. Like in, in North Carolina, there's a, uh, it, it, there's a weed, it might be a fungi called a, a kudzu. There is. And the kudzu, it's not a, it's not a weed. and it formed a cross. You know how many people went there with candles lit? I swear, I there was a it was a real article. Yeah, they they wail. You mean the ones where they bob back and forth? You know how they can tell which guy is the oldest guy? How? Captain Ahab. The wailing wall, Captain A. Yeah, that's the one where the the the, the Jews bob back and forth, right? What? Hey, we can what bob. Is, what, is what does that do? Remember the bird that used to dip into the water? Edmund Scientific Company. There was yeah. a. Bird. I had that. Yeah. That's what they do at the whaling wall. What does this, what does this do? That means you're. That means you're a woodpecker. <laughs> yeah. What does that do anyway? Yeah, you're peck. You're a woodpecker. You're a woody woodpecker. Listen, there was an episode of um, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia with Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito owned an Irish bar in Philly. So, all of a sudden, the janitor says, Come over here, guys. Come over here. Look. There was a leak in the boiler, and it formed the ver an image of the Virgin Mary. Do you know Danny DeVito said? I'm going to put up crushed velvet ropes and I'm going to milk this for all it's worth. He put up crushed velvet. He charged a cover charge. You, all the Catholics came. The line was out the door because they came to see the, the image of the, the water stain on the boiler. And, and this, they, the janitor was an idiot. He washed it. He says, what did you do? You ruined my... You ruined my I tell him, you want to see a real stain? <laughs> <laughs> Here's your image. I'm telling you, if it wasn't for, the, I think DeVito, well, his, all the, the whole cast member, they're all nuts. Unbelievable. You can't make this stuff up. This is like real life insanity. I leave. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.